Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. This is the Hippie Dippy Painter Man Show, and welcome. We are here in beautiful Key Largo, Florida, and welcome to the Fluid Art Express. I am Buster, and I will be your co-host today. Take it away, Hippie Dippy. All right, y'all. Um... I let Buster do the intro because he really wanted to, so, you know. Uh, We're going to do something completely different for you today. We're going to do a injection pour bloom. Those of you that watched last week's video know that I have a new method that I'm doing called the injection pour. And uh, it came out pretty cool, but we're going to do a bloom with it this time. going to have a three for for you. I'm going to do the first one. Kathy's going to do the second one. And then we're going to do one together at the end. And, uh, you know, if you're not subscribed to us already, please do subscribe. If you like the video, hit that like button. And if you don't mind, comment and uh, follow. We're going to be coming in on this today at a uh, midway through the first one because I goofed up, didn't hit the record button before. So we're doing a second intro. Where you're going to come into it is after I have injected the paints, um, just before I go ahead and uh, put the CA on it and do the bloom. Um, if you watch the part that Kathy's doing after that, you will get the full benefit. She's doing one also, and you'll be able to see the injection and everything. The colors that we're working with today are Arteza Dreamy Lemon Yellow, Soho Cadmium Orange, Soho Fluorescent Pink, Pepio Blue Green, and Grunge from the <laughs> RCA today will be Titanium Buff from Amsterdam. The colors that Miss Kathy are using <laughs> will be different, and she will tell you what those are when we get to hers. Hope you enjoy. Without further ado, let's go. All right, now that we've got that on, we're going to go ahead and lift this up very carefully. And as you can see, we've got all those pretty colors in the center. And now we're going to put a little bit of this beautiful buff, titanium buff, Amsterdam CA on it. All right, now you may or may not have noticed before I started this, there was a crack in this canvas, um, but I'm a cheapskate, so I taped it on the back, and I'm going to see if I can make it work. When it dries, we'll see. If there's a big crack there, well, then there's a problem. Now we will go get it back in the middle again. It keeps wanting to slide over there. I didn't level. It's my own fault. And we'll run the blower. Here we go. And there we go. Now it was bound to have house paint in the uh, bloom simply because uh, it was underwater injection pouring in the first place. Let me apologize to you for missing the first part of this. Um, I'm going to go back and redo the intro so you will get an intro. I mean, actually you have had an intro, <laughs> put it that way. But the first colors that went in here uh, Y'all missed because I thought it was recording and it was not. And now we are going to do a little ziggity zaggity around it. Now I'm going to start right here. And we're going to go. Wing. I'm going to go ahead and spin her around, see where she goes to. It's got that kind of a mauve background from the mud. All right, guys, I kind of like the way that glows from one corner. We'll put a little extender paint on uh, the two bikini corners that came out there. Well, that one too, there's three actually. And then we will go. I'll take that little bit there. Uh, 
Others I'm good with. Doing just a little bit of accent stuff, guys, and then I'm going to spin again. Um, don't want to get crazy with it, just want to help it along a bit in little places. We've already got our waviness from the first part. I'm going to go ahead and come in from right here. And bring that out into there. Okay, alrighty, I'm going to do a little blow. Now, I don't know if that will do anything or not, but we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to let it sit for a sec. I love these colors. I love what they have done to it. Um, originally, I was going to do it in the center, but I like the way it offset. I like the way it comes out like that. Um, so I have, uh, I have zero complaints. I need to wipe it. I don't know. I'm just getting couple in the same colors you don't have to wipe it if you're in the same color do you we're gonna go ahead and wipe off the edges and then we're doing one last spin on mine and then Kat will be taking over for her portion of today and then we'll come back for our do it Wow. I love, I love that right there and I like these little ends. Oh, that, yeah, that's cool as heck. Yeah, and I like, uh, I don't know, I just love this green and blue coming out this way. I just yeah, think. The ribbons here are really pretty. And where I blew on that, I did get a little stretched out, you know, yummies. One more time. I'm going to go the opposite direction this time. Simply because I went that way last time, we'll go this way this time. Here we go, ready. But where, you know, where that base comes in right there, I kind of dig that. I like that mauve color myself. I know you don't like it, you think it's old ugly gray, but, but mauve is, is what it is, and I like it that color. Let's see how deep we are, right? Smack in the center. And we got nothing. And if we got nothing in the center, guess what we got on the outside edges? nothing now normally I go all the way across it and stuff but I think we're pretty good now so this is my presentation for the day hope you enjoyed my portion on the Florida Express we're gonna take a little break come right back with cats and we'll be back in a snap and through the magic of cinematography we are back and we got the lovely Miss Cat and she has graciously offered to do a injection pore bloom also and that way we can actually instruct y'all on how to do it since I missed it on the first one. So, hold it down, my dear. I have agreed to pour while she holds, and that way this will not get out. Now, remember, you're going to need to pour some around it when you get ready to release, because I never have enough. You probably don't either. All right, we're going to start. Her colors are going to be. Tell them what you're doing there, babe. This is Matisse, Southern Ocean Blue. All right. And that is Creative Inspirations. Dogs is in violet. This is um, Iridescent Gold Fine by Golden. And last but certainly not least, Prussian Blue from Amsterdam Acrylics. So I'm gonna put all them in there. Now, we're gonna go ahead and release that. Once again, y'all, uh, don't be worried about all the paint we waste, because we do, but we're not really wasting it. I'm going to scoop all that up and put it in the mud cut, and we will use it like I did on the first one. First one, you know, you checked in late, but I did use mud cut to surround it with. Lift. Yes, we lift. Oh, isn't that pretty sitting there underneath there? 
So. Okay, now what do we do? Uh, now you're gonna do your blow, uh, your CA and then your blowing. Okay. You treat it just like a regular blow from this point. Go ahead and put your CA on it. I'm using bronze by Amsterdam. Amsterdam bronze, ain't that pretty? I'm trying to be different. I okay. try to be different myself, occasionally. <laughs> okay, it's blow time. All right, now you're gonna get your base paint on this. Reason being, you got base paint in it already because you injected it. So those of you that are so careful not to get that base paint in it, this method involves the base paint. So it's gonna be there. It, uh, and actually, I think in some instances, it looks even prettier. I think it looks even prettier on this one. Um, and I think it looked very pretty, very pretty on the last one. Now I know generally you don't like to, are you gonna do any embellishments? Yes, I am. She is, she's gonna use a big old fat. Mm -hmm. a, a totally different technique. Now she's using a big old fat back of a Sharpie to do that. Oh my goodness, I love that. Oh that, that's beautiful. I can see it all the way from the side. Yeah, that's a real big swirly there, isn't it, Buster? Yeah, I love this new technique you made up. Isn't that pretty? Buster stamp, Buster approved. Oh, wow. Well, I wish we didn't have to spin it. I wish we could just leave it like that. It'd be such a pretty blue sun style. Yeah, it's not all white in there. Look what you got. Look how that pulled. Look at this over here. Wow. Oh, and look at that. Look at those drops. You need to hit it with your fire and make sure you get all those little specks because there was a ton of specks in the last one. Wow, I wish I'd got spots like that on mine. That's beautiful. Wow. Took all that uh, uh, solid whiteness you thought you had and worked it a bit, didn't it? And you still got stuff coming up here. And I guarantee you, as that dries, you'll get a little more. Yeah, look at these. That's wicked. I know, I'm really, I'm really pleased, but we need to see what the paint depth is. Let's spin it just a, a little bit. deep in the center. Spin it just a little bit more. I do not want that to crack. Yeah. So you like my new technique? I huh? like this technique. It's fun. It is. You have good results. Most most all the time you don't have a F U, you know, U P thing. <laughs> yeah guys, I tried to do this. I tried I actually came up with this one. A good while back if you've looked at my earlier videos and I tried to do it and I bought this big old giant syringe thing uh, and uh, put all the colors in that one syringe and uh, that was a big that mistake. was a big disaster because the colors would not come out of that big syringe and so I had to um, Timu has these yes Timu right. has a whole package of those syringes and I think the package is like like five bucks and it's got like all different you know, sizes 20 different sizes it's got all these different nozzles if you want to do real real precise lines with your with your syringes that's another thing you can do you can do real uh, precise lines with it um so all right boys and girls i think that's it for miss cat so we're gonna go ahead and get this off here get it a little cleanup we will be right back for number three which will be a joint Dippy Dippy and Cat Production. Alright boys and girls, with the magic of cinematography we are back again. 
All right, we're gonna go ahead and use a special background on this. This is gonna be the aquarium from Sherman Williams, which is that color right there. I'm gonna use that on it. I think I already told you, but we're gonna do a center swipe. She's gonna swipe her direction, I'm gonna swipe mine. Uh, the colors we're going to be using today are the ones that we were using earlier, plus some other stuff. We're gonna use Soho fluorescent pink. That one there. Gonna use, oh goodness, I just dumped that in the paint. We're gonna use Creative Inspirations Dioxazine Purple. Dioxazine Violet. Violet, I'm sorry, yes, that's true. It's a little different. It's a wee bit different, we changed that. All right, we're gonna be using Matisse Southern Ocean Blue because of course the Northern Ocean is a different color. <laughs> and we're gonna be using the uh, Golden Quinacrazone Azo Nickel. So let's go ahead and put down our base. I got these canvases. They are super cheap canvases. Got them on uh, Timo. I got something like a 20 pack, I think it was, for like 15 bucks. Um, not even that, I think it was $8 actually. Um, and uh, they're thin. They're not uh, gallery quality. They're fun canvases to do. Um, the one that I did first had a little tiny break in it. Um, but because the way they ship, they don't package very well sometimes. I, I could have sent them back because of that, but I didn't want to go through the trouble of doing that. And also, I'm, uh, I'm a cheapskate, so I didn't want to throw it away. So I put a little piece of tape on it, on the back, and was going to try it out. Well, I got that one in the front, and already <laughs> it has a crack there. So... As pretty as that first one was, it's going to have a crack in it. It's just the way it is. All right, going to go ahead and put our, our colors down, right down through the middle. And I think we'll start with the gold first, because I really don't want the gold to take over. So I'm going to go ahead and put that through first. That way we won't have a, a mess. Alright, that's one of the golds. I think that's plenty. And we're going to go ahead and put the purple on next because purple and gold looks really good together. Next to the purple, we're going to do the pink. And we'll save that pretty ocean blue for last. You want to do this one? Oh, you go ahead. You're doing fine. All righty. Trick of this to this, now I'll mess it up because I'm telling you tricks, is that you get you a drop going down there. And uh, you're not actually pouring it off of the spoon. The sp you're uh, sticking the tip of the paint on the canvas, and it pulls it off the spoon. And that's the that's the way you get those long, semi uh, uniform lines. They're not totally uniform, but you know. All right, and last but certainly not least, this beautiful Southern Ocean blue from Matisse. Alrighty. And that's our four. Now, we're going to go ahead and put down our CA. And it's going straight down the middle. Whew. Um, 
So I'm gonna get it with a black paddle, I think. I'm gonna start from one side with that. Then I'm gonna grab it up. Go from the other side. There's our bronze CA. This side? I guess. I'll go right there. You can drop yours down the tip right next to mine. You got it? I reckon. And slowly pull. Alright, got my side. Real slow, darling, real slow. It didn't do it. That's okay. I'll let you sit down first on the next one. Then maybe your side will be darker. And then we'll worry about mine afterwards. <laughs> yeah, because she's covered up. There's, that's the center. I need to check in the rest. There's nothing on there. This part right here is really pretty. It is. And I did that. All right, well, thank you very much for joining us on the Blue River Express today. We really appreciate it, and we appreciate your patronage. And for those y'all that have been buying up all the eye candy powder in my account, I really appreciate that. Uh, there is a link to eye candy colors, although we didn't use them today, in my description. And that will, uh, if you take that link and you use a little secret password in there, that will give you 10% off. And I appreciate it. If you want more, you go through that. Um, if you liked what we did today, please hit that little thumbs up. We appreciate it. If you're not yet part of the Hippy Dippy family, please do subscribe and join us. Um, if you want to follow everything we do, then uh, grab that bell on the side there. A little side menu comes down and click on all just like this. Please don't go anywhere because we're going to have a wet flyby in the other room of all three of these pieces and then we will have dry results after that. Hello again boys and girls and welcome to the wet flyby. This is the first one we did right here. Ain't that pretty? Just gorgeous. Now if you look right here, you see that little line right there? That's where old cheapskate me put tape on the back of it instead of throwing it away. But I don't care. We had a lot of fun today and that is the point. Here's another one. That's the second one we did. And I would say, without prejudice, the best one of the day. Miss Cat did an absolutely magnificent job on hers. And then, the last one we did, which is our center swipe that we both participated in and what happened there is every time I put down first I stole all the AC and every time she put down first I mean all the CA that is and every time she sat down first she stole all the CA but that's okay next time we know to put more of a wider swath of CA in the middle and I like the way it is right there I think that looks really cool alright guys that's your wet flyby Stay tuned for the dry results.